Huh. So that's how that happened. Oh, hi, I didn't hear you come in. We're here at the German American Heritage Center and Museum in downtown Davenport for a very, very cool uh, exhibit on Quad City Brewing. We're gonna show you a little bit of that. And this is Mr. Beer. Brad and I made a German beer from the Mr. Beer kit. We're gonna see what an actual beer judge thinks of the beer that we made. Is it gut? <laughs> we'll find out on this episode of Brood. We're at the German American Heritage Center and Museum. This is Claire. Hello, Claire. Hello. Or do I say Guten Tag? You can say that too. That means, is that, we're filming this in the afternoon. Like there's, you say different things depending on what time of day it is, right? Yes. Do you speak any German? <laughs> I do, un poco. One of the reasons that there's such a rich brewing history throughout the Midwest is the influx of German immigrants. Mm -hmm. And here at the Heritage Center, there is an exhibit celebrating all things Quad City Brewing, and I, I'm guessing in relation to German immigrants and people of German descent. Yes, exactly. For the summer, we wanted to explore the history of brewing in the Quad Cities. Um, we have a lot of uh, breweries now, and it started uh, back in the 1850s when German immigrants came here and there were not so many breweries or local beers, so they started their own. And this is kind of a, it's kind of an interactive experience? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, there's some interactive elements. Um, behind me here, you can um, write down your favorite local or not local brew, um, okay. and maybe you can see other people's favorites and, and what are you try gonna, them out. What are you gonna do with this information? Once you find out what people's favorite beer is, are you gonna give that to some local lucky brewery to give maybe. them all the inside maybe information? We'll, we'll let them know if they uh, if it's Front Street or somebody right gets on. A, lot right of, on. a lot of votes. Um, you could also vote for your favorite style of beer, um, and then we also have some different grains and hops that people can smell. I know you had a, a festival here, the best of the worst. Yes. What is that? Um, we do an annual fest in our parking lot. We get sausages from Jerry's Market and then people can vote on their favorite type of Wurst. We have German beer and a live band. Is it a polka band? It is. Oh my God, it that sounds polka wonderful. Band. You guys actually sell beer here at the museum. We do. Is that just because of this exhibit or is that all the time? No, we've started to do that all the time. So. And this is beer that's imported, I'm guessing. From. It's all German beer, yes. Okay. Can we take a look around and see some of the yeah. stuff that's here? Now this yep. is again, uh, Quad City history. Yes. Quad City brewing history. So, yep, both sides like of the, the river. What's like the earliest piece that you have from Quad City uh, brewing history? Like what's, what's the oldest thing here? It's got to be this Davenport Malting Company glass. Okay. So the Davenport Malting Company was one of the earliest breweries in the area. Glass looks like it could have been from a beer festival like last weekend. It's like in perfect... really good shape. Right. <laughs> so I, I notice it's on loan. So this is somebody mm -hmm. locally that has like a really cool brewing collection? Yeah. Or? So a lot of the items we have are, are from his collection and he's um, he has a wonderful place for them in his basement that's it's like a museum itself he so every once in a while merle just lets you have the stuff yeah. to, to put on display yep. so this glass is from again this is this is 120 years old if it's yeah. a day there's a glass right next to it here from fricks yes so now, fricks is, is like the oldest bar in davenport it is right? it's the oldest bar in davenport um it's been a bar for 100 years so if it's 1872 when mm -hmm. fricks opens up or like 1876 mm -hmm. right uh, the country has just celebrated its centennial and uh, there's germans there in the west end and they've got fricks where they go for beer what kind of beer are they drinking do you think i don't think there were any commercial breweries back then right and they're um, not you're probably not getting imported beer no, in 1876 no. can you imagine what that would cost yeah and that's why they started brewing because you couldn't import you couldn't refrigerate and and bring things here. So. so when the Germans move here from uh, Germany and they move to this part of the country, what was it about the Quad Cities that, first of all, it attracted them? Why were there so many of them here? Um, a lot of them were attracted to the River Valley. It reminded them of Germany. Um, same with the climate. It was pretty similar and um, there was a lot of available farmland and they were farmers. Um, so it was kind of a no-brainer to stop here and you could get some land, start a farm, or start a business, because the population was continuously growing. Can we see some of the other cool stuff you have here? Yeah, some of my favorites are probably these um, 
keg barrels. Holy um, cow. So this one's from Zollers, which was in business between 1935 and 1945. Black Hawk Brewing Company, Davenport, mm -hmm. Iowa. These wooden cases, what's that about? Um, so they would uh, transport bottles in cases. Um, and a lot of times they would reuse the wooden ones. So they'd paint over it and then paint their own logo if it was, you know, changing between breweries or, you know, it was a transport. Now we have cardboard cases. I mean, that is gorgeous mm -hmm. for being as old as it is. It's sturdy. When I was um, putting it in the case, I was surprised at how thick and sturdy the cardboard is. So so Pretzel Alley was, was a part of Davenport where people would hang out. Yeah, it's part of the lore um, in Davenport. 